you saw my first server video, which I made about two eternities ago, I would guess, then you might know that I wasn't happy with the disc cage that came with the Rackmount style case. Well, I made a video where I built a DIY cage. However, after I already uploaded the video, I started disliking what I built more and more. While I liked the idea, I didn't like how badly I crafted it and made the video unlisted. If you still want to see it, the link is below. Anyway, the plan was to redo the project, but this time using metal and using more precise tools. And guess what? It's finally time to do that. By the way, if you were wondering why it takes me so long to make these videos, well, every time I touch this project, I spend way too much time on it, and once I solve an issue, a new one appears. And since I have other things to do as well, this project keeps landing in a corner. However, hopefully now, it won't take long anymore until the server is finally up and running. Anyway, I'm gonna shut up now and show you what I did.
I definitely like this new DIY cage much better than the previous version. The server also booted up right away and all the discs show up. Don't be fooled though. If I try to do anything with the discs, like make a pool and write to it maybe, one of the discs will disappear right away. The worst part is, I think it's the one I got as a replacement when I sent the broken one back. I'm not sure if it's caused by the disc itself or by the SAS controller, but that's a problem for another time. Let me know your thoughts on what I built in this video and what you would have done differently. Also don't forget to leave a like if you think this video deserves it. And thank you all for watching. See you next time.